hello guys welcome back to my channel so today is saturday and now time is yeah now time is almost 9 pm so today in this video i want to share with you guys how i use chat gpt to improve my productivity so as a programmer while i'm working with my personal project and working on my company project and there i use chat gpt heavily to improve my daily productivity and save my time so before we dive in, so let me give you kind of a small introduction about ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is an AI language model which is developed by OpenAI. It can generate human-like response. So it feels like you are talking to someone else. It's like you are talking to your friend, a family member or something like that. The most important thing is you can use this tool to learn new stuff and troubleshooting and problem solving. and it help you to improve your productivity and it help you to save your time so that is it and let's see how i personally use chat dpt to improve my daily productivity and it how it helped me to save my time so today morning i started to develop kind of a very small go project so it's it just perform like basic crud operation for an employee system the main purpose of this development because i wanted to learn go language Currently, I don't have a kind of a strong knowledge about Go and still I am trying to learn Go language and yeah, so there I use ChatGPT to get like build some code blocks and also I use ChatGPT to learn new concepts like pointers. So let's see how I use ChatGPT in that project. So here you can see I am asking ChatGPT to initialize a function which is return SQL connection and here you can see it give me the all the information I need to run that function in my code block and the, all the packages which I need to install before that function is going to call in my code block. So here I am updating my function little bit as I needed and after the finally I just return the database connection from that function as mentioned. And after that I am defining kind of a health endpoint which is used to check the application health and here I am just check that SQL database connection is working successfully or not. So here after I ran the server I am making a get request to the health endpoint. And you can see I am getting expected result and our database is connected successfully which means the function is work as expected. So here I am going to test the get employee function which is used to get the employee information with the valid ID. When we put a valid ID and we are getting that employee information. So here we are getting a valid employee information and we try to give an invalid employee ID. We are getting an error and our application is going to crash. So this is what not I expected to happen. Now I am going to use ChatGPT to improve this function to return a valid response even the employee is not found from the database. So here you can see ChatGPT gave me the updated function and then I can use this function to replace my old code block and do a test. If the test works perfectly and we are good to go. So here I am trying with the valid ID and we are getting the expected result and we are trying with the invalid ID and we are getting the expected result and also our server is still working at which means our function is work as expected. So here also I am asking ChatGPT to generate an additional function to valid employee ID which helps us to improve our application security. And next we are using ChatGPT to make a code review. Here I am using ChatGPT to get code review my get employee function which we updated few times and here you can see the ChatGPT giving me the updated function after the code review. So after we replace this updated function and we are going to run the server and check the our function is work as previous and if the function is work 
as previous that means we are good to go and our code is clear and complete here you can see I make a valid request I am also getting a valid response and even for the invalid request I am getting the expected result which means our code is work as expected as we need so as lastly I am going to learn new stuff using ChatGPT. so there I am going to learn about go pointers which is I'm not good at currently so you can see ChatGPT explain me the every bit of concept in a simple manner which is I can understand the concept clearly and get the overall idea of the pointers So that is how I use ChatGPT to improve my daily productivity and it has made a noticeable impact on my coding productivity. And that is it for today's video and if you found this content useful, give a like, give us a comment and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next. Until then, peace.